Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be writing a program that takes an integer inputs. So it's going to take in numbers as inputs and it's going to display the max and the average of those inputs or of those numbers. And then a negative number or a negative integer will end the program and it won't be used in the calculations. And then we can use a print statement to print the average and the max. And here's an example run. If the user enters 15, 20, 0, 3, negative 1, negative 1 will end the program but it won't be used in the calculations. So if we add up all these numbers together, we get 38. And then 38 divided by 4 is 9.50. But then we also have to print like the max. The max would be the biggest number, which would just be 20. So that's like a sample. Like if they run the program and they enter these numbers, this is what the output should be right here. So let's actually code it up. First thing we need to do, we need to define a scanner object. We could say scanner, SCNR, equals new scanner. And then we'll say system dot in. That way we can actually get user input. We can use this object to get user input. And then we have to define some variables. So we can say int count equal to zero. Count is going to store however many numbers the user enters. And then we can say int max set that equal to zero. Max is going to store the biggest number. And we're going to uh, define a double called total. And we'll set that equal to zero. Total is going to hold however many um, so whatever numbers they enter is going to be stored into one variable. They're going to be added inside the total variable. And then we're going to define another variable called num. So this num is going to store the user's input. And we can set that equal to scanner, which is the object we defined up here to get user input, dot next int. This is asking the user for a number, and it's going to store it inside of num. Remember we said we're going to be asking the user for integer inputs? but a negative integer is going to end the program. So to do that, we could use a while loop. So we could say while num greater or equal to zero. So whatever the user inputs, if it's greater or equal to zero, it's positive. So that means we want to keep going until the user enters a negative. But once we enter the while loop, we want to change some variables. So we want to do count equal to count plus one. You could say if you wanted to, you could say count plus plus just to make it easier. That works too, but I just want to keep it simple so everyone understands. So this is just adding one to count because the user entered a number that is greater than zero, which is what we want. We want to use in the calculation. And then we have to update the total variable. So we could do total equals itself plus whatever number they entered. Also, you could do total plus equal to num, which is the same thing up here, but once again, it's a little more easier to understand if I just write it out a long way. That's how we get the count and the total. And the max would typically be tricky, but we're going to use a built-in Java method. So we could say max equals to math dot, and then we could say math dot max. So what this method does, it's going to take in two numbers. So let's say 5 and 56. Say max has the number 5 in it, right? But if the num that the user entered is 56, it's going to override the number 5, which was in max, and now the biggest number, which would be 56. So we want to do, we want to pass in the current max, which is the variable itself, and then we want to pass it the number that the user entered, so which would be num. It's going to compare if the current max is greater than num or num is greater than the current max. If num is greater, it's going to override max and that's going to be the new max number. In the first case, any number is going to be greater than max because max is going to be zero. So whatever the user enters first is going to be the new max. Hopefully that, hopefully that makes sense a little bit. And then we can ask the user for another uh, for another integer to keep the loop going. So we can say scanner.nextInt. And if they enter an, like an integer like um, that is less than zero, which is negative, the loop ends. And then once we're inside the while loop, we could actually start doing our calculations. We could say double average. I'm just naming it the same variable up here because we're going to use this print statement to actually print it out, and then I'll explain why we're using it. So we could say double average equals total, which is what it, like uh, all the numbers added up into one variable called total, divided by count. Count is however many numbers there are. In this case, total would be 38, because that's what these numbers are all added up. They equal 38, 
and count is however many numbers. We don't do the negative one because it's negative. So it would be 38 divided by 4, which would give us 9.50, and the biggest number, which would be 20, which we already have the max. Okay, so now we have that, we just have to print everything out. So we can do system.out.print. We're not going to do a new line because we want to match the output, and they're on the same line. So first we want to print the max, and then we're going to put a space because we want a space right here. So there's that. And then we were given the actual print statement, which is going to format it. So there's only two numbers after the decimal point. So let's put that in there. Okay. So system.out.printf stands for like print format. And then dot two f is telling like the it's telling Java we only want two numbers after the decimal point. If we didn't have this, um, like th the amount of like numbers after the decimal point would be higher than actual like numbers are after the decimal point. But it just formats it so there's only two. And if we run this program, let's do the out the input that um let's do the sample input. So if we do fifteen twenty zero three negative one. It's uh, 20 is going to be the max, which it is, and the 9.50, which would be these numbers added together. Remember, we skipped the negative 1 because negative 1 just wants to end the loop, and it's not going to be using the calculation. These four numbers together equals um, 38. 38 divided by 4 is 9.50, so that is correct. Let me put the code back on screen, and if this helped you in any way, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Cool.